Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert and today I am bringing you to my second upload of the day. This upload is going to be Palace, obviously. Uh, today we're going to be going over the Palace Ultima range and yeah, that's basically it. So I've tried not to look too much at Discord or Twitter in relation to it because I've seen a lot of people put like, oh my god, this, and I've had to like scroll past because I don't want to see that. I don't want to see spoilers. I've just seen the initial 20 photos and then that's that. So let's get into this full thing and yeah, hope for the best basically. So let's go. And as always, let me know your favorite piece from this or what you like in general from this. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's just get straight into this basically and take a look. So the Ultima range. Now, typically I open things up bit by bit to take a look at, but in this case, we're just going to pick out and take a look at pieces. Do they open up? They do open up. So I'm gonna open up those two straight away. I'm gonna open that up. We're gonna open that up. Uh, I gotta make sure that I don't just go like <laughs> all over the place, uh, but I do just want to look at the first couple of rows. Uh, I'm gonna look at that instead of the jacket, just to see how it looks in that. And then we're gonna look at that, okay. Kicking off uh, with the piece that I saw in the like lookbook type thing in the photos, we have the Peak Funnel Fleece. That blue colorway is really nice for Christmas time. Oh, yeah, that's the one, the black colorway. That's really <laughs> nice. I just spat everywhere, that's terrible. Uh, that is really nice. See, things like this, uh, I bought one from Kith, obviously last year. Uh, I believe it was last year, it could be the year before. It was last year, definitely, uh, which is a green colorway. So they released a blue one at the same time. So I don't know whether in my case, I'd prefer to go for a blue fleece or whether I'd prefer the black colorway. I do have a couple of things in the black colorway, but at the same time, yeah, I don't know. I like the fading more so of the text on the blue in comparison to the black, but the black colorway is definitely more clean and you could probably get away with wearing it sort of year round because it is a black colorway. And obviously at Christmas time, it's a bit more highlighted, but yeah. We then have the Meow Meow knit in green so far. Obviously yet again, you could probably wear it year round, but I'd say very much so Christmassy type uh, would be the aim. You might be able to get away with Halloween, but yeah, it's just a green and blue colorway. Green I prefer most definitely. We've got the double dragon tour jacket. Okay, with two eagles on the front and the dragons on either side of the arms. Black colorway is nice, but that navy is really clean. Two tones again. I definitely think navy's better in that one. We've got the Politech High Loft Puffer. Outside material looks a little bit weird, but other colorways, olive. Yeah, that's gonna be a hit, isn't it? Straight away. And gray. See, gray with Palace recently has been, I wouldn't say a trend, but it's been a big, big, big hit with them. Like it's been really decent with them. So yeah, and black, obviously. Uh, I'd most probably say gray or olive being the better tones. We then have the Therma Fleece uh, in multi, obviously. These are obviously the joggers, not the jacket, but I just want to see how they look or if they had other tones, which they do. Blue's really nice. Olive, yet again, is such a good tone and black. Do they have gray? They don't. I like that it's got different aspects of different ones uh, like on it, like you've got the navy, you've got the olive, you've got the black, then you just have uh, like the fluorescent sort of tone and the purple going on. So yeah, the double dragon uh, plain pan, I just want to see. Yeah, two tones again, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's clean. I do prefer the blue or the navy tones though uh, with it specifically. Okay, heading down, we do have a Polartec piece out open. We have a hoodie, another hoodie. I don't really need to look at. I don't feel like I need to look at that either. Uh, VHS, that seems cool. Battery, I'll open back of the bus, please. I'll just open all the T's basically or near enough. And then we'll go down to here where I don't want to spoil too much. So we've got the Polartec laser uh, half zip, gray colorway. Gray, black, and light blue are really clean in that, personally. Moving on, we have the international hood, which got the Palasonic on it as well. I like it, it looks like a, like an Umbro piece, almost. Sort of vibe I'm getting from it. Like you're gonna go and play Saturday morning football, you know. Maybe people don't know, but if you do, you, you get what I mean. Like you're gonna be playing football on a Saturday morning. All the colorways are really clean, I think, personally. Burgundy, not so much, but I prefer the navy purple and the black tones. Burgundy's nice, but I just prefer those colorways. We then have the VHS uh, thermal long sleeve. 
Okay, different meaning of VHS. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like that. Grey, yet again, really nice tone. White's okay. That's really nice in black. Makes it stand out a lot more. So olive, grey and black, I think in this long sleeve are the better like, colourways overall. We then have the battery uh, t-shirt. I'm probably missing something, I'll be honest, in relation to it. But... Yeah, I think that the black colorway is the best one for that. We then have the back of the bus. That's funny. I wish there was like more sort of like in between us uh, references with Palace. I think it'd be really cool. But yeah, God, those seats on buses. If you know, like in <laughs> the UK, if you hit one of them, the amount of dust, like the years of dust that will start to... <laughs> go out into the air is unreal like if you've ever accidentally done it as well you know like what happens so yeah we then have the palace please tea cool colorways different idea with a little bit of a drop shadow to the text i'm trying to think i almost recognize that font from somewhere but i don't know where maybe it's just me but yeah we then have the chomper tea it's different i would have possibly preferred all of it to be on the back and then just the palace logo to be there but i'm not gonna complain because it is quite cool uh purple and green nice tones gray is okay but I, uh, black colorways really clean purple and green though are definitely the highlighting uh, or highlighted colorways from that and then we have the tri web which would be great for halloween like 100 percent so if you were to pick it up and then hold it for that time it would definitely work, especially the black colorway is definitely the best one out of that. For that time of year, that'd be great because Palace typically just do like a Halloween tea and that's what we sort of get from them. So to have something like this isn't too bad. Okay, moving on to the hats. We've got the Trooper, we've got the ear flap, another ear flap, a new era low profile, the fuzzy uh, ear beanie I want to take a look at. Don't need to look at that, don't need to look at that. Neck warmer, I'll take a look at the socks. We then have a sovereign ring. We have a desk lamp. Yeah, we, oh. Yeah, they've got a Kit Kat clock. I recognize them. You better not overcharge Palace because I know how much they are. I've got one in the past. I don't have it now, but they're like 45 to 60 pounds at a push. We've got an iPhone case. We've got a snow globe. I'll look at the rest in a second. I am a sucker. A sucker for snow globes I'm telling you like there's a South Park one that I'm still yet to pick up I wish it was on discount but now it's Christmas time of year so of course it's not going to be um, but I'm a real sucker and I was gonna pull the trigger on that because I've already got uh, two I believe one being the supreme one one being another one I think I've got another one actually I might have three but yeah regardless I'm a real sucker for them so I've got the trooper anyway Great for this time of year. Black colorway, perfect. Any other tones? No, just white and black. Black colorway, personally, uh, you can't really see what's on the back of it too well uh, co in comparison to the white colorway, but it's still fine. It's a tone that you can read at least, so yeah. We then have the warm dome ear flap six panel, which I think is great. And anything that's like this just reminds me of Christmas Vacation uh, where Eddie shows up and he's just got it on and yeah. I would definitely say that the, okay, black colorway is definitely the better tone. I do think that the blue is nice for Christmas time, but black is definitely the better one. Brown, not so much. We've got the fuzzy ear beanie. I actually like this, I'll be honest, <laughs> which, yeah, I don't know. I just think it looks, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. Navy's a nice tone for it. Brown's okay. Black colorway's obviously a standard, but I think navy's a nice color for it. It's not too light and it's not too dark at the same time. We've then got the Argyle sock. I actually think this is like quite cool. Palace socks like this. It's a very dad vibe and almost like a Christmas uh, look to it as well. I wouldn't say the white colorway, or they've called the brick colorway. Uh, the Rasta's nice as well, but I think the Germany in gray is just a nice tone overall. Supreme have released like many Argyle like sweaters or polos or like pin up or whatever pieces in the past so yeah you should hopefully notice the design and in general it should be something that you notice. A snow globe though I'm getting that I'm a hundred percent getting that palace you've got me you win yeah don't be a dumb retail Supreme charged a little bit of a dumb retail most places 
you don't need to charge like a ludicrous retail for something like this it's simple this is like two pieces together which is a base and that and it's together that's it please don't be expensive please uh, we then have the iPhone case. I just wanted to take a look at this. They do, yeah, different colorways. Black colorway is probably the best. Uh, I do think bubblegum's cool, but black colorway. So for the last couple of things that we've got, we've got a doormat, cool. We've got fuzzy hanging dice, uh, like Austin Powers. We've got the clock. Got some Sharpies and the sticker pack I'll take a look at. Reusable bag. I'll just open up the last couple of things. Safe. I've still got a Supreme one uh, that's like an indoor mat that I just sits here. My brother uh, had one of the other ones because they uh, bought like two at the time, gave one to him, kept one. But a doormat like this would actually be quite cool. I know that some people put them in front of like their rooms and things. I could see how much it is and get it and do that. But at the same time, it's a bit of like a, why would you do that? But you never know, it's quite funny. And it's, you know, Christmas and such. I'm gonna be spending money this week, aren't I? Fuzzy hanging dice, different colorways. Austin Powers just instantly comes to mind when I see these. Kit Kat clock, sick, yeah. Really cool that they're doing that. Again, 45 to 60 pounds, so it'll probably be somewhere around there or maybe just above that because that is the actual retail that you'll have to pay to get it in the UK. So yeah, I've seen so many of them as well and it's cool they've done the P's for the eyes and yeah. Uh, Sharpie pens, yeah. It's, it's really simple, probably be like, what, seven or eight pounds, something like that. Maybe five pounds if they're nice, but yeah. Holiday sticker pack has like five stickers, okay. That better not be, you better charge like five pounds and not the standard ten pounds for that palace because there are genuinely five stickers in that. So yeah, we've then got the reusable bag. Any insomniacs in the building? DM me on Instagram and I will share this. Take away code order with you that's guaranteed to knock you out. Shy message being like, yeah, I've diagnosed insomnia. <laughs> I mean, it's cool that they're releasing a reusable bag. So, yeah, just don't charge like a dumb price for it. And a VHS mug. One colorway. Okay. You know what? To be honest, I'm I'm content with that. I think it's a really solid uh, range for them to release. Personally, for me, the fleece, the funnel fleece is a standout. There are a couple of other pieces here and there that I think are okay, you know, across the board. I do think that they are nice and clean and simple. I think the VHS is another one that's just a standout piece. Other than that, for Halloween, the Tri-Web. Moving on though, we have the Trooper and the uh, Warm Dome, I think are two more. For me, you know, Fuzzy Beanie is a standout. The other beanies are okay, but I think that's a standout. Uh, and then other than that, the snow globe and the doormat. That sounds like a lot. Personally, the pieces that I might end up going for though would probably be like the fleece, uh, the snow globe and like the doormat. There is a possibility for one of these, but those would be the three that I would have on like my mind in the end. You'd have the snow globe, the doormat and the fleece. So yeah, but I'll have to decide because there are so many pieces dropping this week and there's still like Kithmas to come out and all of that. So yeah, uh, regardless, that is going to cover this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, what you're going to be going for, whether you're going for something from Supreme, whether you're going for something from Palace, whether you're going for something from Kith this week, or what you're going for in general. But that is going to cover it from me. I hope that you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Peace.